Luke, uh, what did the break mean for you? I mean, just getting away for a little bit, time to relax and get away from hockey. I mean, just what was that like for the break just to sort of, I guess, refresh a little bit? Yeah, for me, it was it was nice to get back home. And um, obviously for myself, it's been a long and frustrating year so far. And, um, you know, it was just nice to, to get a little bit of a longer break uh, for, for myself and obviously the other guys too. But uh, yeah, no, it was nice to kind of get away and um, I was still skating back home and um, you know just trying to get back into shape and um, yeah it was it was nice to just kind of get away and spend time with uh, some family so how's the recovery process been going I mean like you said it's been a long road so far but to get back on the ice with the team you know non-contact sweater just I mean what's that mean to finally be back you know skating with the guys even if it is just in a non-contact jersey yeah no it's great um, you know I spent uh you know, quite a bit of time off the ice and just, you know, working out in the gym and, um, you know, that can get old pretty quick. So uh, it was nice to to get on the ice a couple of weeks ago and um, and then to finally this week get on the get on the ice with with the team was was great. So finally uh, see the light at the end of the tunnel and just chomping at the bit now. So we'll go next to Jacob Stoller. Hey, Luke, um, after the injury happened, did were you in Winnipeg the whole time or did you head home for a bit? Uh at the beginning there yeah I was in Winnipeg for most of most of the time um when uh when the team was on the road uh a couple of times I just went back home to Grand Forks on the weekend so um you know that was nice uh not having to stay here by myself on the weekend so yeah um was this your first lengthy injury that you've ever had in your hockey career or, or something that you're familiar with the recovery time um I actually did you know, something similar a couple of years ago. Um, I think I was out like six weeks, um, but it was actually the other ankle. So, um, so yeah, I kind of knew right when it happened uh, what the recovery process would be like. So um, obviously uh, kind of been a lot longer than we expected, but you know, it is what it is. So finally uh, getting back into it. So was any was this type of recovery any bit harder given like the COVID aspect of it and some of the things you can and can't do um, when you're not even able to be on the like on the ice with the guys or it was just kind of a normal uh, recovery? Yeah, no, it wasn't uh, any different than uh, you know my previous injury, but um, you know obviously there's restrictions around the rink with COVID now and and all that stuff, but uh, it didn't affect uh, you know any uh any of that process so um you know obviously last year you spent some time uh, on the taxi squad and and kind of in the, that no man's land area that we were seeing reintegrated again how, how much uh does that change things for for you as a player um or any player that's on an angel contract when the taxi squad is kind of in the fold there yeah it's it's obviously a lot different um you know just practicing every day uh not knowing when you're when you're gonna get an opportunity and um you know, that can be frustrating at times, but, you know, I think, uh, um, you know, as long as you just go to the rink every day and try to get better and just, you know, stay ready, um, that's the only thing you really can do uh, uh, when you're in that situation. So fortunate uh, to get a few games in and, um, you know, it is it is different for sure, but um, I think guys just try to make the most of it, so. Do you know kind of how, how far away you are from playing in games, Luke? Um, we're getting close. Uh, you know, I'm not really, I don't want to say a date or anything. I just got to talk to the training staff and all that, but, uh, I'm, I'm feeling pretty good out there. So it's, uh, you know, that's nice to see. And, and like I said, uh, you know, just kind of chomping at the bit, but, um, you know, we're not going to rush anything. So we still got a lot of hockey left. Anytime someone, you know, is coming back from injury like yourself, I'm sure obviously you're itching to get back, but given, you know, how few games like actual games you played in last year to start out this year you know, over the last 12 months or so um do you have a little bit of extra fuel to your fire to get back and, and show why you're the player that you are yeah for sure um you know like you said uh being on the taxi squad for most of the year last year not getting many games in it's and then obviously getting hurt it's uh it's been a tough you know year and a half as far as you know, just not playing a, a lot of hockey, not something I'm used to, but, um, you know, it is what it is. And, you know, I'm sure there's uh, a few guys out there in, in that situation, but um, yeah, it just, uh, you know, just uh, motivates me more. And, um, 
ready to, to, to play some hockey. So do you like, obviously there's watching film, there's watching the guys from afar and stuff, but, um, is there any way that you find that you can say improve your game? Like when, when you're, when you're out, like obviously you get a lower body injury. I'm sure you weren't skating for parts of it, but are you able to work on other parts of your game? Um, even when you're sideline from skating or is that kind of difficult? Um, I guess it is kind of difficult to, you know, watch and, and, you know, I, I do like watching hockey and watching certain players, but you know, that only, that only goes so far. And, um, but I do like watching, uh, it's been fun to watch the team and, um, you know, it's been uh, a little bit easier, uh, you know, that the team's doing so well and um, it's been fun to watch these guys. So, um, you know, I'm just uh, hoping to to crack the lineup uh, once they do get get back. So, um, you know, it's uh, it's exciting for for us to to for for what's ahead. So and uh, just one last one here, what you know, what do you believe that, you know, Luke Johnson and the game that you have will bring to this Moose team uh, or what you hope will bring when you come back in the lineup? Uh, what kind of game do yeah. I bring? Oh, uh, you know, just I try to uh, try to do a little bit of everything. Um, you know, I focus more on, on playing hard and, uh, you know, being physical and um, being tough to play against. Uh, but, you know, I also like to bring some speed and, and some skill with that. So um, try to do a little bit of everything and just try to be a, a guy that my teammates can can rely on. So.